So these were like super duper hard to find. I first noticed these like maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago or three Olympics ago. I'm not really too sure when they started wearing them actually, to be honest. But um, we got them and let's do a little review. More of a first impressions, mainly because I just really started using them like, recently. Anyways, let's get to it. Hola. What's happening guys, Coach Bernard this time. I am back, hopefully, consistently. We'll see, I'll try. Uh, we have here the Puma Cuban Boxing Team. Uh, is there a name for this thing? So yeah, it says the Olympic. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. It's called, I risk surf the web, what does that mean? Article name, Boxing Olympics Cuba 2. As I mentioned earlier, these words are really, really hard to find. I've been trying to get my hands on these ever since I saw them, I don't know how long ago, but I finally got them. I can't really tell you who my source is, only because if they ever want to go back to Cuba, they might get murdered. So, let's avoid that. Yes. <laughs> but anywho, these are the Puma boxing shoes. Now these are very, very similar to the box hogs, one and two and the plus ones. Not so much the threes, because the threes has a different material. These ones have that cushion nylon mesh material. I find that these are a little softer than what they have on the box hogs. So it does make these a little bit more comfortable. And comfort these do provide, because these are super comfortable. I would say that these are probably like top two most comfortable shoes I've ever tried before. Top one would probably be the Venoms, because those ones are super comfortable if you like really cushiony shoes. What makes these different from the, the box hogs actually um, are the curved or raised edges on the back heel here in case um, you wanna drive with these on, I guess. I'm kinda curious why they put a raised heel there because typically when you're boxing in the ring, you stay on your toes. Maybe you'll go flat once in a while, but not really on your, on your heels, because I know when I'm coaching, I really try to get my guys and girls to not go on their back heel, because you have horrible balance that way. But if you've ever seen Olympic style Cuban boxing, they are very mobile and they are very much on their feet, dancing around you, making you look like a damn fool. Maybe that's why. And even the toes here, in the front here, the toes have raised edges as well. Whereas in the box hog, it just stops about here, I think. These I found are really helpful because like whenever I'm like shadow boxing or dancing around in these, like I can feel the grip when I'm dancing a little bit. Uh, you can feel the grip right at the tip of your toes and it helps you like push off and add more power to your shots while being mobile. Usually when you're being like super mobile, you don't hit as hard. With these ones, I feel I can really dig in more when I hit. So, nice little touch. Now, my source told me that these are actually modeled after the Adidas box hogs because the Cuban boxing team loved the box hogs, but then they were sponsored by Puma, and that's Puma to make shoes similar to box hogs. I'm not really sure if that's true, but that's what I'm told. These do have nice little touches here. They have a little golden Puma boxing on the back here, little flags here on the top, both sides. Even the uh, laces say Puma right on them. And I can't really talk too much about the durability only because I really just got these and started using them recently. So today's more of a first impressions and hey, check these out. Look what I got kind of video, especially since you can't really buy these anywhere. I can't really give you advice on these shoes, and you can't even buy them. But if you do want to buy these off of me, and you're a size 14 boxing shoe, I'm normally 13, so I sized up um, because these are kind of narrow. If you do want to buy these off me, and you have $1,000 you are willing to part with, hit me up. Um, maybe free shipping, too. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Anyways. Again, these are very similar to the box hogs. They have the same set type of supports here around the edges on your heel. And over here, 
It's a little hard, but I found that the box hogs are harder here around the toe. I don't know what they're called, toe ends. Yeah, here is a lot more soft, so it does have a lot of really support in the heel here. I mean, it's really, really stiff there. So it is really easy to move around these. Very light too. Anyways, I think I said box hog enough in this video and I get confused on which shoes I'm doing a review on. But that's my video, thanks for watching. Thanks for still tuning in, by the way. Uh, if you like this video, click like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time.